game that was decided by home runs tonight. Let's take a look at the highlights on a night where the Reds would win this in extra innings. First inning, Houston's Jeff Kent, two run homer, is 16th of the year. The Astros take a 2 0 lead on Danny Graves, top of the first. Reds didn't waste any time, though. Jason LaRue, four runs batted in. Two run homer of his own is 15th, Chris. The first strike that Ron Vallone had thrown in a ball game, Jason LaRue loses in the left field stands. Graves and Vallone pitch well, and then Vallone gets his first career homer in the seventh. This gives the Astros a 3 to 2 lead top of 7 and then it looks like they can expand it even more but what a defensive play by Brandon Larson at third. He really saved the game right here that ball stab on the line double play result 5 4 3 double play Reds 7 they start to come back Ray Almeida big hit gives them a 4 to 3 lead Mateo and Taylor score a double for Almeida Reds take the lead back. Also in the seventh, LaRue gets two more runs batted in. Stenson and Almeida score. It's now 6 3 Cincinnati. The Astro Reds. bullpen not, not exactly used to getting touched up like this. And Dotel gives up another one. D'Angelo Jimenez singles. LaRue scores, make it 7 4. They'll get the out to end the inning, but the Reds have a 7 4 lead. Looks like it's going to be enough, but in the eighth, the sacrifice fly gets him within three. Then Biggio's homer, Chris. 3 2 count fastball. Chris Rietzma throws it in there, and a three run homer by Biggio ties it all up. His 11th of the year. We go to the 10th. Dunn delivers. What a shot. Brad Leach gave up a couple of runs last night. A dramatic two run home run. I like Jeff DeCoro thought that ball was leaving the entire yard going to the river. I never get tired of seeing this. Their celebration jumping at home plate. The bump is alive and well in Cincinnati tonight as the Reds win it. They win it in extra innings in 10. Their 14th extra inning victory of the year. And it almost did go out of the ballpark. It hit the fence at the top of the bullpen. Only came about five or six feet from going out of this park. Well a lot of fans went out of this Park with a smile on their face tonight. Reds win it in extras. More to talk about on Gold Star Chili Reds wrap after these messages. The Reds' entire opening day outfield now on the injured list. They're gone. Griffey and Kearns gone for the season. Adam Dunn today heads to the 15 day disabled list, suffering a sprained right thumb, but not before smacking that walk off homer last night. Let's go to Great American today. Elvis has left the building, and Seth Etherton has entered the place. His Reds debut, first major league start in three years, greeted rudely by Jeff Kent in the second, his 17th. It's one zip Astros. Then in the fourth, rookie Darnell Stenson deep to left. Watch this one closely. It bounces into the bleachers, then back on the field. I don't know what the umps are watching. That's a home run. The umps say no, no home run. Dave Miley says, Man, you got to be kidding me. No doubt about this one, though. Lance Berkman in the fifth three run bomb. That is your difference as the Astros even up the series with a 5 2 victory. And Kentucky Speedway tomorrow. Brandon Larson will have an MRI on his injured shoulder tomorrow. He may be shelved as well. That would be 17 different players on the DL for those of you keeping track at home, which leads us to quite a different lineup today from opening day. The Captain Larkin, All Star, Aaron Boone at second, Griffey, Kearns, Don, Sean Casey, LaRue, Larson. Such potential and endless limitations. Today, well, Ray Olmedo leading off, LaRue second, and an outfield of Ruben Mateo, Darnell Stenson, and Reggie Taylor. Well, let's go to the Great American Ballpark. Paul Wilson off to his usual rough start. Jeff Bagwell takes him yard. Wilson has given up 36 first inning runs in 25 starts this season. The defense making it an adventure. Lance Berkman pops one up. Ray Almeida in short left. The Bob Oh, quick reflexes there. Darnell Stenson robbed of his first major league home run on a blown call yesterday. Leaves no doubt today. Solo job off Tim Redding in the second. We're tied one all. Top four. The Astros reclaim the lead. Jeff Ken's bloop the left center scores Morgan Ensberg. It's 2 1. Looking for more. Berkman again pops up. Check out Juan Castro goes into the stands. What a great play. And how many times do you see a guy make a great play and we edit the highlights so he comes up big at the plate too? Two on to center, just out of the reach of Colin Porter. Career high ninth home run for Juan. Look how close this one is being caught. It wasn't. 4 3 in the eighth. Kent smokes one to Castro. More gorgeous glove work. The double play ensures the victory. Reds take two out of three. Your final score is 4 to 3.